with another video for playagricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore agricola. I'm playing a EIK WM France deck uh, game with uh, Turan Bar, Heidi Mickelson, and the Audi, but mostly I'm playing with Domba. Hi, Domba. Hello, mister. Hello, mister. Hey, so uh, we're playing a sort of informal tournament together. Uh, could you talk a little bit about it? Yeah, uh, the organizer is called uh, Rune and Turambar, I guess. And uh, they basically came together and uh, and said, oh, because of this COVID-19 or coronavirus, we can't meet up and play. What can we do? Oh, we can host an online tournament. And uh, so that's a Norwegian tournament. And we were a couple of uh, uh, players short. We only had about 13 players. We wanted uh, 16, obviously, to get uh, four full tables. And uh, so we got Mantu to play, and I invited you, and you wanted to play, and we also got a f player from Finland, I believe. And so now we're 16 players, going to play three games on Play Agricola and three games on Boitisha. Cool. Uh, so we should hop into this draft because they've been waiting for a little bit. So uh, standouts for me, obviously Field Warden, and then the other one is Market Woman. I don't think there's anything else I'd really consider here. I normally like Field Warden uh, uh, a lot, uh, and I feel when you don't play with G4, G5, and G6, there are not that many stuff to help you plow, so mm -hmm. Field Warden goes up a little bit when you only play with these decks. Um, yeah, yeah. I that, normally take that, Field Warden. That makes sense to me. So we expect Market Woman will get taken, maybe Seed Seller, we might get something like Clay Worker back, oh, uh-oh. My uh, screens all just went blank. My Firefox okay. is struggling, apparently. <laughs> okay, let's hope. There we result. go, that's back. It's just the video card is maybe having issues. I don't know, I'm not sure. Anyways, we'll take Field Ward in here. And uh, we'll get something okay back, not amazing. There we go, that seems to have fixed it. Um, I just have to click on all the windows. Yep. Oh, and there we go. We have Land Agent if we want it, or, but uh, I see better cards, but yeah. <laughs> uh, Land Agent is... <laughs> yes. Um, so, the thing about Boston, Boatswain, is uh, you, you usually want to plow early, with yeah. which is the opposite of what you want to do with Field Warden. Uh, yeah. And I, Cloister Dweller is an extremely strong card, so I, I think the pick is probably just Cloister Dweller. I, I agree, and uh, with the Field Warden we should have no problems getting six fields, yeah. if we want it. And uh, we have also Head of the Revolution that uh, goes well with Field Warden and Cloister Dweller. Yes, uh, so like yeah, if we was... wanted to do fence, fence nine spaces, three fields only, we could win the Head yeah. of the Revolution bonus doing that. Def definitely. Yeah. And uh, there's a slim chance that we can get Land Agent back, which is very good for Field Warden, but Field Warden doesn't really need a ton of crop support, really. Yeah. Um, Ooh, this was uh, a more grim pack. Yeah. I don't really think... Oh, Lumen says we missed the most important card in that pack, though. Uh -oh. oh! Which card uh -oh. was that, Lumen? Uh-oh. <laughs> um... Hmm... Wood Distributor. Ah, I see. With berry picker and clay worker. Oh. Uh huh. Okay. I I yeah, I, I would not take uh, wood distributor there first pick yes. from that pile. I think we'll have to agree to disagree on that one. Um. But but it is very important to know about cards like that that they are in the draft. That's true. Uh, so this pick, I'm thinking something like dove hunter could be okay. Uh, nothing really is that exciting. I, I really, unless we get something, I really don't see that we're going to play any of these cards. But uh, for me, it's Dove Hunter and uh, maybe maybe Harvest Helper, but because uh, uh, Harvest Helper, there is Market Woman, so Market Woman will probably sow in like round 9 or 11 and Harvest, uh, no, uh, no, Boatswain and Harvest Helper can, can, can rob some grain from Boatswain and then uh, we have grain for Field Warden. Except that but, you field phase before you harvest. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, but I, I'm thinking when when Later, once they're actually, sowing actually sows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But 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 for me, harvest helper, doe hunter, uh, 
we have nothing to play early so far, and sometimes it's cool to have something early. I'm I'm like fifty five har- percent harvest helper, forty five Dell hunter. Yeah, but I you can, agree you, that you we haven't choose. really seen any support for Dove Hunter yet. Uh, the one nice thing about Dove Hunter is it would kind of solve our feeding. Like Field Warden is looking for you to have nice feeding without crops, mm. so that you can, you know, build up yeah, a bunch up. of family members. Yeah. Um, like yeah, I, definitely. I mean, land agent is is a probable um, chance that we're going to get land agent back, and then Dove Hunter is just better than Horus Helper. Yeah, that is the case. I I think I like Dove Hunter here, and so I'm going to take that one. Oh, cool. Whoa. We just got past Country Doctor. Ay ay ay. That is uh, That's good for a no. three three no. three room. Uh, Yes. Three room close to the and uh, but everybody has now seen Reeve, so that's interesting too. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna, ha- yeah, we're gonna have a hard time playing seven occupations because uh, our real sixth and se- seventh pick are gonna be, pl- um, well, yeah, could be unplayable. Yeah. Oh, Lumen, could, how's the audio balance? If he could let let me know, how's the audio balance between me and Domba? Ah, yeah, Lumen straightened us out. Uh, he didn't say pick it, but we should have mentioned it. Yeah. Yes, sorry. Uh, Thank, yeah, he's but, right about that. Um, yeah, Country Doctor, I mean, probably uh, there's no way we we're getting past Bots- Botswain at this point. Uh, but uh, if we did that, it would be huge, obviously. Uh, but yes, Country yeah. Doctor looks pretty good for a three-room cloister dweller. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, if we had, like, uh, instead of Dove Hunter, had, like, Patron... Then maybe a re was to play, but then we would have passed Contradictor to whoever has both swings, so that's right. also very hard. Yeah. Okay. And there we go. Uh, like play worker. Tomba's louder. Okay, I can turn him down. I wasn't really sure because we haven't done this before, so we haven't tried to balance it yet. So we'll we'll, we'll figure that out. Let me know. Just... Thank as, you, Lumen. As things evolve. Um, so you were talking about getting early plays. Um, I mean, we've yeah, got Clay Worker here. Yeah, because a Clay Worker will uh, work nicely with Dove Hunter and maybe eating vegetables from Field Warden later, because then you can mass up. You don't even have, get to. F- you don't even need the first uh, Cooking Hearth, but uh, like the the, fi- the five Clay Cooking Hearth you can buy with the Clay Worker. Uh, I would de- I would definitely take Clay Worker here. Yeah. Uh, Helps us get the it helps us get a cooking hearth either way, which is usually pretty yeah. important with field wardens. So, yeah. And wood distributor came back. Uh, we've also got organic farmer here. It's unlikely we're gonna do more than. Um, well, I guess it's possible we could do a, more than two pastures, but it just seems unlikely with cloister dweller. Yeah, uh, I, I I like organic farmer because of the point ceiling at the end. Yes. Uh, with field warden, we are probably going to see a lot of empty pastures, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, because we're certainly not going to maybe go big in on animals. The other thing is with dove hunter, I kind of like the idea of building, trying to build a room and two stables, and then those two stable pastures. Like if uh, we do small pastures for. Um, like we could do three small pastures and then one three size pasture, theoretically. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. We've also got wood distributor here, which would work with our clay worker quite nicely. Um, yeah. I don't know what you uh, think about wood distributor. I uh, I, I normally uh, wood distributor. I like and if you get a card like fish trap, for example, it's like a really cool start. Play wood distributor, fish trap, and then you're guaranteed first room. Uh, so, but I'm leaning toward Organic Farmer because of the point ceiling, and Turambar is in the game, and he is, uh, he's basically a a very good player, and we need point ceiling to beat him. That's just my, uh, (laughs) that's just my, uh, (laughs) uh, who are we passing to replace, uh, because the, the, uh, we're passing to him, and, uh, yeah. Hmm. He's not, he's not going to play with Distributor, he's going to take it, but he's probably not going to play it. I kind of... He he doesn't like that card. I I, Okay, so the reason I like Wood Distributor here, it works with our Clay Worker. It also will synergize really well with a bunch of miners in a way that I don't think Organic Farmer will. I think Organic Farmer, we kind of know, 
it's going to be like maybe a two point card whereas wood distributor has the chance to be a really really high impact card and i feel mm -hmm. like uh we yeah, give up definitely. we give up very little by not taking organic farmer but we could potentially yeah. gain a lot from wood distributor yeah wood distributor in the right setup you can just like all of the sudden control the six wood space i i, I don't mind us taking wood distributor but uh, thing, I, I i would take organic the other thing is uh we've passed businessman so uh yeah, true. if the player after us start players a whole bunch being able to wood distribute at opportune times could be very useful i think yeah there you go that's that's a good reason uh so here harvest helper i mean honestly we could consider wood buyer with wood distributor but you need amazing food so the pick is yeah. just harvest harvest helper i totally agree we don't have that super early super food here dancer magician stuff like that yeah and i could uh, consider good okay um Ooh, donkey i it's like donkey pretty, yeah pretty good pelts is good for uh for point ceiling uh but donkey is amazing with field four yeah uh, and with our cloister dweller could make like a so it's looking fat. like we probably want to do um so the fence layout that we could do with donkey plus cloister dweller is where you do one column with three little pastures one column yeah. with a big pasture and then two columns with six field with three fields each so yep. that actually would have worked a lot better <laughs> with uh, with organic farmer because it's mm -hmm. more higher number of pastures. But yeah, docking yeah. with field warden is just fantastic. Yeah, One and that uh, and that will help that race card, uh, the head of the re revolution, a little bit more. But. Yeah. Um, and, donkey uh, pasture can't be organic, no. But the other the other three can. So wow, a lot of plowing here. Yes, ba uh, backyard well is is uh, really uh, nice to have in a head of the revolution game, and you can actually build the miner. Don't uh, place the stone, and if uh, a certain player is uh, is not remembering correct, then we can on our turn just say, "Oh, now we place the stone," and then we can win the head of the revolution. That's true. Yeah, you're right about that. Um, it, unfortunately, it does make the space not that group not work for cloister dweller. Um, Definitely, but then we could go for four point cloister instead of five and have uh, in the yeah. middle three yeah. have a sp yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I agree. I agree. I was so I was just trying to point that out. But yes. Oh yeah, I, and I'm not is... saying we. I'm not saying we have to take it because I'm looking at cookies as well. And uh, if we can get grain from Harvest Helper semi early, or uh, then cookies is also good. But but backyard well is for sure uh, strong. But, uh, I really, personally, I, I'm a really big fan of Backyard Well. Uh, I think we, we know that very the donkey pasture is not going to work with Cloister Dweller. So I feel like we're giving up very little. Cookies, yep. I don't know. We don't know for sure if we're going to go for a oven. Yet. Uh, Lumen in the chat here is saying Claire pick cookies to, to, for him. Uh, I'm, I, I would say that if instead of Harvest Helper, we had like a grain speculator uh, giving us super early grain, something like that. But our grain is not 100% early, right. and field warden is not early, so... Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I, I like backyard well here. Uh, landing net, uh, pointing out that the landing net doesn't really work with wood distributor, which I agree with, because you very often will miss out on the second food, uh, the yeah. times when you want to take reeds, so I like backyard well here. Yeah. He's saying backyard well and cloister don't work together. I think if you go for a four-point cloister dweller, backyard well is no problemo. In my mind, it's yeah, but but I do see his point there. Um, looks like this is probably village school. Mm, I agree. Uh, yeah. We don't have the uh, we don't have the best village school set up. Um, I, I guess I, we could throw away a couple of our late late pick occupations, maybe dove hunter. Yeah, I wish threshing board was only one wood cost. That would be nice to uh, with feed warden to bake when you plow and so. Mm. Uh, but yeah, village school is nice, and uh, we have some we have some occupations uh, with distributor and harvest helper could uh, go out. Yep, um, maybe dove hunter if we don't have the setup. Yeah. If someone else pushes the fireplace really early, yep, definitely. So with Village School, I've talked about this before on stream, but I really like Village School and then taking cards that have really high impact in some situations, but then in other situations are not good. So it's like if yep. you hit that, 
great, but if you don't hit that, no problem. Ooh, here I kind of like Wildlife Reserve or Barbershop, most likely Barbershop. We're only going to build one room, so yeah. don't. Yeah, and I, I I agree with Barbershop. Wildlife Reserve is interesting, definitely. Um, but I I like the idea of Barbershop here. Yeah, I, find, I see a lot of people. Yeah, go I ahead. A, well, I find I have a hard time making Barbershop work, but uh, yeah. yeah, I always go for it for as a five or a four point play, and yeah. not not never six, never six, unless I have some weird hand only staying in two rooms. Mm -hmm. Barbershop is like the ideal uh, stage two. Uh, like a family growth queue, minor to me, if you can afford it. Lumen says, right to lean higher, higher variance when you have a village card. I guess they all have village in their title. I never thought about that. <laughs> village fool, village so, head, village so, school. So is he, is he, is he meaning that uh, when you have a, a village school card, you take, for example, mansion instead of like another safe card because you might succeed, and if you don't succeed, you can always throw it back. Is that what he's meaning? Yeah, I think that's the idea. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Gray is saying it's louder. Okay, I'll, I can lower him again. I'm, I'm still louder? Okay, sorry. Sorry no, about that. It's not, no, no, you, speak, keep, you keep speaking the way you were. Actually, before you came on, I jacked up your volume a lot because I wasn't sure uh -huh. how balanced they were. Because uh, yep. This is actually the first time uh, we tried this with this headset, so... I feel acreage is very good, country doctor uh, wise. Uh, uh, yoke can also be, we saw a couple of plows, and yoke can be like a surprise, uh, two extra fields for that head of the revolution. But acreage to get country doctor a bit earlier is um, kind of like. We are in simpatico on this one. Uh, I guess we could consider basket very slightly, just because with wood distributor, maybe. You know, you want to oh. take clay and leave the two wood behind, but... Uh... Yeah, Lumen is saying I'm so loud in real life, so it's just... <laughs> Cause he, he went to Oslo to play our uh, international tournament. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you guys did that, that cool thing, yeah. Um, yeah, I like Acreage here as well. Yeah, definitely Acreage. And, uh, and now I kind of wished we had something like Seed Cellar or something. Yes. Really great stuff. But maybe, maybe we can like find a corn scoop that we have overseen in the draft. Mm. So here for me, it's like millstone or field for me. Uh, maybe cattle market for our uh, dove, dove hunter. hunter. Yeah, yeah. Cattle market is like passing plus two food, which is not really that exciting. Although millstone, yeah. the stone cost can be kind of annoying. We have village school, we have backyard well. But you know what? I think it's pretty likely that no matter what we take here is going to turn into a building resource. It, it could definitely. And, and Field can also be a starting player around 12 after Head of the Revolution has been played. And that can yield us then one uh, Field. And then we can do two Fields in that same round with Field Warden. And then at the start of the round 13, we can do two more Fields with Field Warden. So we can like cheat uh, up to like five on your spaces. Yeah. Because because we're definitely leaning, we're gonna have six fields this game. Grace, and, uh, Grace says, isn't Yoke the perfect situationally great card for village school? Uh, I think Yoke, uh, just field warden plus donkey is such a good interaction, Gray, that it's not worth saying in case we don't play that Yoke would be really good. Um, just those two cards, the way they interact is so strong because you plow once and plow so twice. There you go. You have six fields, and it's yeah. Uh, incredible and and with this and with this field warden setup uh i really think we should uh, should time our vegetable grabs and let just the grain come with harvest helper and, and we can like late game feed and with with vegetables mm -hmm. um i think i like uh threshing board here yeah I if we get the harvest matter. helper stuff then we can cook in a then we can bake grain in a cooking hearth or maybe an oven I, I really like threshing board with the uh, field board. So um, people are commenting on our acreage plus uh, donkey field warden. What I'll point out, guys, is that with Country Doctor, uh, if we can get plow so round twelve with our first donkey act, like our first donkey plow, donkey would only be two fields at most. So if we play acreage before, 
then we can play acreage and then donkey plow so once and there we go our country doctor is online so that's kind of the way i'm looking at it yeah yeah uh was it acreage well my feeling towards acreage was definitely uh, the country doctor uh, way if we could get country doctor just a couple of rounds earlier because of it just yeah it makes it could make a lot of difference and with the uh, field warden you don't want to be stuck with three people you want to have five people because uh, i mean field warden is like head of the family for example is like the best field warden card so mm -hmm. then you get five people and you actually have super good stuff to do which are fourth and fifth guy hiklj just gifted a tier one sub to lumen thank you so much hiklj lumen welcome uh, enjoy your uh, guest token and spamming play egg well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, HIKLJ, for the support with a two, uh, now a two gifted sub lead over everyone else. So big, uh, opening up a big advantage. <laughs> and the XBen9 just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, guys. That's really. Uh, okay, so we're going to be the last player. Uh, I'm not too worried about that because we have our... Uh, we don't have any soup stuff we have to play early of the occupations. Yeah, and, yeah we don't mind yeah. three wood. Sometimes yeah. you really hate having a three wood opener, but this hand does not mind three wood one bit. Definitely. And also, if we could get a couple of more wood grabs in, it will be so much easier to play barbershop. So. Uh, look at what just got played. Family Planner... Yeah, there you go. Uh, okay, good luck. I uh, hope he has some kind of room discount Four, five, six, seven, because uh, that's going to be a hard sell to get that in round. Is it round five he's going to get this? Yeah, round? five, nine, and ten. Yeah. Uh, or no, sorry, yeah. five, four, five, six, five, eight, and uh, eleven. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're finding the uh, expensive octants to come back more. Yeah, it definitely depends on the meta. And certainly I have noticed uh, the meta is kind of shifting away from expensive oct. Uh, because I think food is food is maybe a little tighter because people are playing oh, so many octants. by the way, uh, sorry, William, too, uh, there's a, we get an extra food in round five. We're playing with a special Norwegian rule, by the way. So we have an extra food in round five. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to jump into uh, the other Discord where the, the other three are just chatting and talking and yeah. uh, reminding them of that. Okay. It, that extra food is basically uh, a Taiwan thai thai rule. Uh, it's basically Oxmund who mm -hmm. started that. And, when, uh, and it's basically the fourth player has a little bit of a disadvantage and uh, an extra food is good. And we started to, we when we first implemented it, the, uh, the players started within round one. Mm -hmm. and then we saw that that's changed stage one too, too much. Then we shifted to round five. Yep. And I believe when Lumen played with this rule in the Oslo tournament, he said it could come even later. He suggested like round 11. Uh, we thought that was a bit too late, but maybe round nine is, uh, yeah. But, but, but in round five, then you get. Then you can now play an extra occupation in stage two. Yeah, we we find that the extra food really helps the fourth player. Nice. But may, may, maybe too much. I don't know if Lumen wants to to uh, expand on his thoughts of the on the round five food. So we got expensive occupation here. So clay worker yeah. looking good. I'm gonna go ahead. And yeah, play that. I, I agree. Definitely. Lumen says, I think round five is early. Yeah. I have not played with this, uh, with this, uh, this is my first time playing with it. So interested to see how it works. Yeah. But after we introduced this rule, everybody now at least is not complaining about being fourth <laughs> the, the whole time. So. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's very true. How's the, is the mic balance a little bit better now, guys? I've... Here we go. To run bar fish prep. That's like my favorite minor improvements. 
Yeah, that's a good it's one. So it's so easy. My favorite opening is like Church Warden and uh, and Fish Trap. That's my favorite stage one. Yep. Or or Village Elder Fish Trap. Yeah. All that good stuff. Uh, we got two wood back here, which is amazing. Actually that is amazing. Quite, ni quite nice for us. Uh, that's very nice for us. Uh, she plowed a field, and that could mean that she has the France card uh, evening prayer. If she plows one more time in the next two rounds, she's going to have that for sure. Cool. That's good for us, because then she will have uh, take a starting player action for us. Mm -hmm. um, I like to read here. Probably, probably we don't really want to play Wood Distributor if uh, Fish Trap's in the game. Uh, it's very unlikely that it'll be good for us to do to pl to ever distribute, but yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, it's a two wood action, so yeah, and it might uh, give us a little flexibility. Yeah, and we could get a six wood action from it. Yeah, uh, if we're lucky at some point. But also, it could also be instead of two wood playing it, it could be one 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 whatever resource with village school. That's so thing. no evening prayer because uh, Heidi just played fish trap or no not fish trap she played berry picker berry picker yeah I'm getting my cards overlapped uh, two read looks uh, good here definitely and on the rebound we don't have too much good stuff to do no we have acreage we could play but yeah let's not focus on the second the last act we could take one sheep if we wanted to play dove hunter. Yeah, we could also take wood, so that. No, no, forget it. Uh, yeah, wood or yeah, sheep is not terrible, but I would really like us to get to seven wood, uh, so we can so we can build at least one stable. Mm -hmm. But but also, if we're gonna build that stable, it's gonna be harder for us for the barber shop play. But yep. uh, I, I'm not married to barber shop. I I, I more I, I would more like. To get like uh, one stable up uh, for Dove Hunter, then we can have two sheep. Right. So then, one. even oh, if but you're of not course, breeding, you're taking eight food at once. Yeah. yeah, at least. But but I mean, I mean, if we could get those like miracle two stables, that would be amazing. But I really don't see us. Um, how are we gonna then? Yeah, yeah. We yeah, then then wood could be tight later. Did we see a lot of cards that was adding wood to the game? Um, uh, the head of the revolution. Yeah, Didn't that was it. the big one, I guess. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I can't remember yeah. a lot of other ones. Yeah, and village school wood distributor. We have a little wood there, but not much. But we we have, of course, donkey as well. So donkey means that we don't need as much wood. Yeah. Yeah. Reeve, oh, reeve. <laughs> reeve. Yeah. Yeah. Reeve. Reeve. <laughs> reeve definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Reeve, def Reeve. Reeve definitely added, but but everybody knows about Reeve and the meta in Norway. Then, when everybody knows of that card, uh, but the Adi was past it, so he he probably has that, or Turambar has it, and uh, uh, and when everybody knows, they they normally tend to keep that card a little bit. I think I just take two wood here because then if we get yeah. another three wood action, we're pretty happy. Yeah. We're also set up to play. build the first fireplace now as well. Yep, we are. Hey, Rilo Kren. <laughs> it's fireplace. What do you think about first fireplace? Fireplace and Dove Hunter? Is it uh, do, do we do not play Dove Hunter then, or do we? Oh yeah, I think if we get the first fireplace, we discard Dove Hunter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Discard it for a, a resource down yeah. the line. Yeah. Makes sense. It's going to be interesting to see what the Adi does here. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Do you think... Actually, so we, we passed Businessman. I wonder where Businessman ended up. Is Adi the kind of player that you would think... No, of? no, no. Uh, most likely that's gone out of the draft uh, normally. Mm -hmm. But 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 if, if there's one player at this table, it's going to be Adi that plays that. So Adi just took two food fish, fishing, so that probably tells me they might have Bossin, Boatswain. Yeah, yeah, that's a definitely clue. Correct. But uh, he is really behind in his uh, room race yeah. to get that round five. Uh, yeah, agreed. Don't know what's going to... Yeah, that family planner action is not looking too likely.
Okay. High days playing in occupation. There's a fun line of sounding plan air place two peeps. Yeah, um, um, maybe that family planner round one was not thinking about growing round five, but rather growing round eight. Oh, but that those seems... are two. That's another bad WM uh, WM card, in my opinion. Expert builder, I really don't like that card. Yeah, I'm grabbing three wood here. Ten and I four. Could get the first fireplace, but um, the three wood looks really good. Uh, we want to if, pressure if the, turn bar if building. The Adi, the Adi is going to take two wood here, and then I think he's going to take starting player. And then take three wood and build a room, but yeah, he can't do that because turn bar is going to build that room. Yeah. Oh, can we even be so brazen to to build a room and stable this round? So that, uh, because turn bar has control of the family growth queue either way, and then we at, at least have, then we have a better sheep grab. Is that a possibility, or hmm. because because if you look at the family growth queue of Heidi and the Adi, they are far behind. The Adi is not even going to to contest uh, uh, the family growth growth space, probably, yeah. or maybe maybe it's going going to do it once. And Heidi is right now a bit far, and she wants to wait for us to build and also to embark to build. Yeah. So Adi just built the first fireplace, which. I mean, makes sense when you get the first clay grab, but still, I was not really expecting it. Just having a hard time getting a read on how they like to play. Um, yeah, the Adi is uh, is really a high variance player. I, I would say he he sometimes he beats he beats some of the best players in Norway, and other times he is uh, has not the best games. Mm -hmm. But the last six months, he has been on a very he has made it to like the final table. We have like a tournament every other month, and he has uh, been in the top four uh, a lot of the times in the last six months. What do you think about playing barbershop here? Ooh, uh, how will we fix our food then? Is it barbershop and then four food traveling players? That was sort of oh. my thinking, and then I think it's fairly likely we'll get three wood back after playing barbershop, but then we're still a read short, so... Yeah, three wood is is pretty much secure because it's going to be four wood most likely yeah so so yeah, yeah. i would expect someone will probably take the four wood but uh yeah uh yeah uh i don't mind uh, i mean uh we could we also play... just take three food here and force turn bar to first action build a room if he wants the first room yeah um, I guess I like that actually. Yeah, because you know what? If we if we barbershop here, turn bar just has such a commanding position over the first family growth. Yeah. HIKLJ says it, it's in a very expensive victory point. That's a good point. I like that. Yeah. I like that that way of thinking about it. It's very yeah. expensive compared to playing it in round seven. Yeah, stage two. I I think that card is made for stage two, and if you have some kind of weird setup and it works for stage one, it's it's very good. And also, we have Village School, so if we could play Village School, Village School before Barbershop, yes. it would be also be nice. Yes, agreed, agreed. If we can start player into Barbershop, Family Growth, that looks like the sequence we're, we're aiming for. William, start. William, you and me, we're playing Agree Kula. <laughs> Get it? Sorry, guys, in the chat. Sorry. Sorry. That, uh, it must be very satisfying to be able to do puns in another language. Ah, it is actually. It is actually. It's not. It's not easy at all. I have. Uh, I have cousins who. Uh, well, it's it's first cousins. What's removed? It's my dad's cousins who are from Germany, and mm -hmm. uh, we we la actually like to play word games. So when we travel with them, they enjoy playing English word games with us, and uh -huh. it's amazing. I can't believe these like you know these guys who who've only ever studied English. They they they've never lived in an English speaking place or anything. And they can yeah. they can keep up with us with these word games, and I'm always very impressed. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, feel bad about my own language skills. Uh, <laughs> what kind of word games do you play uh, when you play word games? Uh, well, so like, there's this game called Contact. I'm gonna take Reedstone Food here, by the way. I think it's a pretty obvious move with Village School in hand. Yeah, 
It's um, nice to uh, to take that, and then and then maybe even starting player to build that second room uh, to be to uh... ready to build. Yeah. So um, so we yeah we play this game called Contact, and the way it works is you're spelling a word out. Uh, like the there's someone who has this is a driving game game to play mm -hmm. in the car, and uh -huh. um, the person who's starting will have. Um, a word in mind and they have to give out one letter at a time in the word mm -hmm. and the other players are trying to figure out what the word is and they uh -huh. do it by asking questions and uh, uh -huh. you have to yes. yes and no questions uh no not yes and no it's more like um you're trying to so okay i don't really know the, how to describe this except that say i give you a word a and i have apple in mind and you would say is it a fruit and uh -huh. I would say, no, it's not an apricot. And then if somebody else had it, thought they knew what you had in mind with your question, they could say uh -huh. contact. And then if you both have the same word in mind, then I have to give uh -huh. you another letter. Uh -huh. That's very cool. The... Uh, Reeve was just played by uh, Ari. Uh, whose real name, by the way, is uh, Avin. Avin. We can call him Ari for the audience. Is Adi gonna like playing? wood hut builder or something? <laughs> I have or, or not wood uh, hut builder, wood hut extension. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he definitely has to set up. No, he's going to take four sheep here, but uh, yeah. Okay, interesting to see what Turin Bar does. Four clay is like typical Turin Bar, or maybe even two reed and a food. Mm -hmm. Fish trap. He is. Oh, here we go. Boatswain came there. Alright, so we want him to sow nice and early so that we can start stealing his uh Yeah, let's uh, encourage him to do that. You should say, oh, both way, nice car or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> you can encourage that. So, And and me and Torambar have had a lot of discussions about um, Harvest Helper. Uh, and I have uh, pushed so we, so we would have, have it banned because you could basically... The fourth player in on in the game in round 14 can actually decide who wins the game if two people are equal then it can just be a game ruiner and just take one grain from the from one guy that has like eight grain and the other guy that has 13 grain and i really don't like that type of mechanic in in a game of agricola i'm going to start player village school here we want to be able to yep. build next round definitely agree um yeah lumen we actually had that conversation before we're thinking that you won't, we won't be able to steal the the bo bo bossin or boatswain food, the grain. But if he gets up to six grain and gets a vegetable, then he's going to start wanting to sow normally. So it's just yeah. any card that accelerates a crop game. We're happy to see with Harvest Helper. Yeah, definitely. And we also have Market Woman and Land Agent out there. So, yeah. uh, so it's going to be uh, some crops, but the, the crops could come as late as round uh, thirteen if we're really unlucky. But then. We can throw away horrors. So. Uh, so are we building a room here? Uh, yes, I I think so. All the other players can build, and he is Torambar is going to take starting player. That's just in his DNA. Mm -hmm. And we're very so, likely uh, to get a good action back. So I'm yeah. uh, I'm on board with this. Uh, are we uh, Are we gonna we... throw away a card? Yeah, I think we throw away a card to save either a wood or a reed. Maybe mm. save a wood. So throw away something like um, field, I think. Yeah, I or agree with that. maybe dove hunter. I think the mm -hmm. timing for dove hunter has passed. We already have three clay, so I'd be pretty happy just building a cooking hearth at this point. Yeah, makes sense. And then dove hunter becomes uh, a one wood for us, and we have to pay expert builder or not pay, but oh, skip. of course, yeah. We'll put a wood on the expert builder. Yep. So how do you guys organize uh, your gaming group? Like, do you have a forum or...? Facebook. We have a Facebook uh, Facebook group. And uh, we also have a Facebook chat with, like, the most eager players. Uh, we're based in Oslo, Norway, most of us. And we have a lot of people around Norway. And some one guy is studying in the... In the 
in Boston, I believe, and uh, a Norwegian guy, and we play with him, and that's, that's organized through Facebook, and then we have a Discord room, and we, yeah, chat there. Cool. I'm looking at the population of Oslo. Yeah, the suburbia Oslo uh, is like 600,000, maybe, but in, like, the Oslo city center, like, in the actual city, it's like 350. But 1.1 million is, like, 30 minutes with a train outside Oslo in all directions mm -hmm. from the city center is, that's like 1.1 million. Yeah, 30 minutes, yeah. And we are, uh, f I, ooh, what are we, 5.7 million people in all of Norway? Yeah, we have, uh, uh, I don't know if we're going to talk about Corona in this uh, broadcast. Well, we have, so far, okay or good Corona numbers, so that's that's it. Well, um, certainly, uh, your country seems to have more sensible responses to than my neighbor to the south. Uh, yeah, your neighbor to the body. south, uh, the Donald, the Donald Duck country. Yeah, it's not doing it too good. But uh, did you hear? A... Did you hear what he said recently? He was gonna stop. There's this massive uh, manufacturing company called 3M. He was gonna tell 3M that they had to stop selling respirators to Canada. And it oh was like, gosh. it's it's made a lot of Canadians actually pretty upset. Like, I don't think it was ever actually going to go through. Like, I think there are enough people with sense in the White House that it was never going to happen. Mm -hmm. But it was just oh. like something he threw out there. And it's made a lot of Canadians really angry. Yeah, but I think he throws that out there to get the hardcore, his hardcore voters to say that he's thinking of America first. Yes. Yeah, so that's a good point. That's the, I think that's the whole thing. He, he wants to, he wants to be portray he wants to portray one thing um to his hardcore voters and another thing and he doesn't really care about how he is portrayed abroad he yeah. doesn't really care about that we should do we take the five clay here the five clay is actually a little more clay than we need uh i really would like three wood and a clay yeah because uh, uh w w if that uh reeve is now played yeah so if uh, if uh, if the friends card comes out it's nice to have a lot of wood on hand I like that. And, I like that idea. Yeah, three wood and a clay. Yeah, because we don't really need the five clay. Mm. Also, Another Turnbar thing. Turnbar got house goat. Yeah. So he's gotten yeah. two like amazing miners so far. Yeah, and that's his first and second pick because we didn't pass him any of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and by the way, the next round we most we fifty percent chance we're going to start player uh, play barber shop, and uh, so that would. That would have taken our wood down to zero, because we need to throw a card away for the reeds. Yep. And also, we need to get our food fixed. So we need to take fishing or traveling players. But fishing, Turambar is going to take fishing. No, oh, he's going to... Wow. He's having... Oh, he doesn't have any... He doesn't any have any fields, fields yet. yet. Yeah. We might see him plow with his second action, but with five clay available, that seems... He'll probably take a clay action. Or I guess yeah. he could read stone food as well. Yeah, he always uh, seems to have good um, and sensibility food, uh, like, I don't know, awareness, if, if that is a word. Yeah, no, yeah, that, that makes total sense, yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, it will be interesting to see what he does here. He does travel, uh, reason on food, yeah, there you go. I guess the other play we could have done is we could have taken Reedstone food and then start playered and played backyard well just for plus one food. But ah. uh, holding onto the backyard well potentially could be an option. So yeah, yeah. Because if actually if we Reedstone food and play backyard well in round six, then we get uh, an extra two food, which would let us family growth in round seven without having to take food again. So yeah. That was maybe an alternative line. But I like taking the wood here. I found that in games, especially in games where I get cards that push me towards taking a lot of wood, I always do really well because it just reminds me that wood is like such an important, valuable resource. Yeah. I try to make count of the, we need 13 fence, uh, 13 wood for fence. Uh, and we need one wood for backyard well. And uh, that's it. Uh, we don't need any more wood than that. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are... Yeah, we already have six wood, so... And we can also throw away cards, so we are in wood, good wood shape. 
I think so. Because uh, we need to fence at least one, one pasture relatively early. Doesn't yeah. have to be super early, but like we probably want to like fence seven at some point. Probably. Yeah, correct, correct. Seven is a very good. Uh, uh, yeah, ag agreed, direction. Lumen. Yeah, that that's sort of the plan that we backyard well, and then two small pastures, and then a big pasture, and then six. Is that's this, the by plan. the way, good for us or is it bad for us? Ooh, family growth around seven. I mean, yeah. it means we probably fall behind Heidi in the family growth queue, so that's yeah. bad. Because... But can we can we disturb her food income? If if we take no, she's gonna take food and then build. Yeah. The other thing is she also has politician, so like she could build like the I guess the the best maker words workshop would be more um uh not guaranteed, I would say. I think yeah, it's it'll be difficult. Maybe. I I mean we probably wanna take four food fishing anyways, just because we, we would like the food. Yeah. She goes on the build room space. I see it in my play-by-play. -play. Maybe oh, yeah. I shouldn't reveal that. Yeah, uh, no, it's fine. That's that totally fair. It's like if you were playing in real life and you're you you were playing with someone and you could see what they were actually doing with their hand, like putting yeah. their cards, moving their resources mm, around. Yeah, it, it's kind of it's that kind of information. Oh, oh no, I'm thinking towards you and the broadcasts. Oh, oh no, that's fine. Yeah, I can put, I can, I don't usually put it on just because I like trying to talk to chat and not reacting yeah. to um, yeah, yeah, somebody's yeah. action until they've actually done it. Yeah. But that's just me personally. Like, I think that lots of people use it and it's totally fine. Okay. So, but I'm thinking if we take fishing, mm -hmm. uh, Turambar is semi, semi forced into taking, uh, taking traveling players. You think so? Uh, he could read no, some food. Yeah, he's going to take read some food. Yeah, he's going to take read some food, and then she is going to take three. Yeah, so then she's because I'm thinking if, but if we, uh, this is probably weird, but if we take traveling players, then Turambar is going to take fishing for sure. Then we help Turambar a lot, but then we will probably skip Heidi in the family growth queue because she can't feed and uh, take starting player. But that is probably just nonsense talking. I think because she has one free move, I would say we should not do that. Uh, because she has three more moves still here. Like one yeah. for start player, one for f f uh, food, plus one more. But I, yeah. if it's not a bad idea. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I think yeah. fishing is the yeah. safe play here. Yeah. And I I can guarantee you, if Heidi, the green player now, was, for example, Turambar's arch rival, a.k.a. his, his brother, who's also called uh, Axiom, he's also in this tournament. He would take traveling players there 100 percent axiom axiom and turambar are brothers yeah. oh yeah i used to play with axiom yeah i turambar yeah. doesn't play on the site too much anymore but yeah i used to play with both of them a lot yeah yeah they play less now but uh we, we have played like agricola every tuesday night for like six years in oslo and uh and turambar axiom and a couple of other guys started and then i joined and then after a while yeah now we're like a group of 25 people that play regular we oh, have like tournaments, awesome. tournaments twice no three times no six times per year yeah six times per year around that live tournaments with like 16 to 24 people that's fun yeah i just you 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 checked out to rambar i just saw his all his most of his games was was with norwegian players i saw yeah i, I was actually looking at, at axiom but yeah yeah. Oh yeah, at Axiom. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, but it makes sense that you guys play together online. Yeah. If you look at Turambar, you're gonna see a pretty high average score on him. <laughs> well, and a lot of wins. I mean, great player. Yeah. Great player. Yeah, he's averaging forty-eight points, and he wins fifty percent of his games in four-player. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, Aldbjorn is going to build next round, so then he can get his family growth in. Round eight, yep. 
So this family planner with round seven is looking a lot better, round seven family growth, but it's yeah. going to lessen the pressure on the rest of us by quite a bit as well. Both of these uh, players, red and green, are going to take food now, and Turambar plowed instead. Uh, so he's going to he's planning take to fishing. fishing. Yeah, yeah, he's going to get one grain and two food from his well, two, one food from fishing, one from fish trap. So we we are we can take six clay here or redstone food. Actually, you know what? Turambar needs to pay for his incoming field, so he's going to go down to two. So he's going to end up having to eat a raw grain unless oh, he picks up yeah. food next round. Yeah, but then I think he just then I think he made a small mistake. No, no he's going to get two grain raw grain now. It, well, so exactly, he can eat. He can eat. He'll uh -huh. get one and keep and eat the other. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Which seems so, okay, yeah. but yeah. he's not get uh, going out of round. He's not going into round eight with the perfect boatswain setup. We can mm. all agree on that. Yes. Yeah. So that's a small victory. And if Heidi doesn't take food now, then I would say we take traveling players one hundred percent. But she uh, will probably take traveling players. I can see it in the future. <laughs> I shall see Looking into, into my your crystal, crystal ball. ball. <laughs> yeah, crystal ball. Here we go. So, what do you think here? Six, seven clay, or or redstone food, or two wood and a clay. So the whatever. clay is nice for building a fourth clay room, but with round seven family growth, I'm not seeing other great uses for the clay that don't involve stone. So I think yeah. getting the six clay is really cool, except that we can't build the pottery with no stone. So yeah, I kind of like thing... redstone food here. Yeah, yeah, redstone food is good because then we can build pottery later with that yeah. one stone, and uh, yeah, and also then we're that that's that much closer to backyard well if we want to play that later. Yes. So yeah, redstone food, six clay, not that worth it. Like I'd, like we can pick up another three or four clay from wood grabs. So if all we yep. want to do is three room house plus cooking hearth, that's enough. If we want yep. to spend any more clay, it has to go towards something like the pottery or another. Yeah, and, and another thing I, I, I think about in this instant, now we're going into round seven and we know three of the player's actions. Turambar is going to take family growth yeah. and he then is, is going to take fishing. Uh, Heidi is going to take starting player and something else and the Adi is going to build room and something else. And that means in this round, I would like to take static actions like redstone food and let the building resources build up because then we can take two better resource grabs. That's a great point. Yeah, we might get eight, we might get eight clay and three stone. And there we go. Head of the revolution. Boom. Boom. Boom, baby. So now it's nice to have a lot of wood and we have six woods. So, so I'm, I'm leaning towards like four wood and a clay now in, in the next round because of head of the revolution play. And now, Wood Distributor is even on the books for two wood play later on. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, one, one thing at first, uh, one thing at a time, and uh, family yep. growth there. Oh. Hand mill. Ah, oh, hand mill. Yeah, <laughs> he's going. His grain is surviving better. <laughs> I mean. It's a card. I don't know when the last time I saw Handmill played was. <laughs> you are definitely correct. It is a card of a Greek one. It's very seldom played, but I guess Boatswain, Ton of Grain is uh, one of the better cards for it. You can actually turn two grain into four, four food, yeah. Or, or one to two. It is certainly a minor improvement. Yeah, our um, the chance of he, him, him sowing in the near future is, is going even more down with his... Yes. Uh, he hasn't gotten the best setup for. Uh, I'm surprised that he his fish trap didn't pay out more early. Mm -hmm. Heidi is going to take starting player fruit tree. That's a nice starting player round seven, I must say. She. This is only her third game of play Agricola, by the way. Oh yeah, so getting used to the interface and everything. Oh, definitely. Yeah, we, uh, I played with her and two other people the other day, and all we did was going through uh, like a pretend game, and we we did all those stuff. Yeah. Um, HIKLJ asks, who's winning? Uh, probably Turambar because he got the first family growth. But uh, it's going to depend on how the next couple rounds go. I really like the fact that we're getting four wood here. Yeah. Four wood in a, in a head of the revolution game is quite nice. Yeah. And we can just sit back and never think about the Reeve, I think, because uh, we can just let the other players deal with the Reeve. Mm hmm. Um,. Agreed. And uh, we can just think about Head of the Revolution. 
and in a late family growth game, I think the RD might be the only guy playing, going to play for Reeve, depend on Turnbar's Ox, but I felt some of the packs of the occupations was so bad, so... Yes, yeah, there were a couple bad packs for sure. Yeah, and then Turnbar is the kind of player that if he recognizes, okay, Reeve is out there, he is going hard, he's going to go hard for Head of the Ro Revolution, that's his style now. Mm -hmm. Because it's bad ox, and he has the first family growth. He knows he knows uh, it's much easier and much more efficient to go for head of the revo revolution, do especially get, with bolts win. Do we get six wood in round eight? Uh, 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 uh it could happen. Definitely, ha uh, we will get more information. But the Adi is a type of player that could definitely take three wood here under rebound, just to prevent that. And he has food, so he doesn't need to feed. HIKLJ says, if we're in second, was it ever worth taking one food? Fishing? Um, I think to, probably... To block to Rambar? Yeah, I think probably not li too likely. Um, uh -huh. Okay. Like, it would have it would have helped. I think it certainly it would have hurt us, and it would have hurt Turnbar a lot. I think usually, yeah. though... I don't like making moves like that generally. Yeah, I would say Heidi would really like that and benefit from that. Yes. Uh, more than we would gain from it, I think. Yeah. Okay, so he needs to eat one of his grains. One grain is going to survive. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I will definitely not take three wood now because. Uh, but he hasn't built yet, so this is like typical uh, Audi. He, when he first goes, uh, he's going to go crazy with. Uh, he could go three rooms here. Do you think um, there's also a line where we reno fireplace and get sheep next round if the three Ooh. wood gets grabbed? But if the three wood doesn't get grabbed, I definitely think. Uh... Oh, I think Heidi is not going to take. Heidi is uh, is yeah. She 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 she, she will she. Probably won't take three wood, and I didn't. That's just her style. Yeah. Take secure feeding or take like a lot of stone. She likes that. Uh, so th we could wow. reno and build the three clay fireplace here, setting up for a six wood grab next round. And the reason I th suggesting that is yeah. because then if Audi, well, yeah, then Audi we force, probably force Audi takes down. the four sheep, but yep. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely like your play. Uh, I agree 100%. Uh, throw away a card and, and build a fireplace. Because yeah. then we either get four sheep or we get six wood. I'm also this thinking about this clay here. And the clay could be, be the pottery, be a pretty good pottery. But I think we're getting to the point where we need something that feeds faster than the pottery. So I like the fireplace here. Yeah. Yeah, and also the fireplace is a future cooking hearth for our probably field warden vegetables. Yeah. So I'm um, going to throw away, um, I don't know, probably threshing board here. I agree. Uh, field is still okay. Acreage, I don't want to throw away because it could get ourselves a little bit faster. I think yeah, we can yeah. probably throw acreage. Uh, yeah, just at, some because, point, at some point. Just yeah. because we're not... We're not getting any harvest helper income, and our yeah. our our country doctor is totally dependent on harvest helper income. Yeah, let's just say that if Turambar sows in round nine, then I wanna then I wanna harvest help. True. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then, when it's not, I wanna throw it away. Right. Okay. That I agree. That makes sense. Mm. No need to decide yet. Yeah. How's the balance now, guys? Is it better? Uh, we are not starting player next round, but Heidi is starting player, and uh, that means uh, she will take family growth uh, first. And as I said, he's going to build three rooms. Uh, Audi just built three wooden rooms, full price. What a so, madman! Uh, he uh, this is like typical him. Round seven, he goes all in. For high, as I said, high variance player. So this could go either either really good or really bad. But. Uh, was the Reed Collector his first occupation? Because yes, we have seen that was his yes. first pick. Yeah, so he doesn't have a head of the family like uh, hidden away somewhere. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. So.
Wow, 10 clay for 2 rumbar. He's going to build a clay oven. Winter Deadwood. Did she play it for... Uh... For the point, it looks she... like. She so... hasn't... Uh, she hasn't revealed it. Yeah. Uh, no, she didn't. Yeah, no, she didn't have a have a wood. Yeah. I think we're not taking star player guys. I think we're taking the six wood. The six wood is basically going to guarantee us the head of the revolution bonus. Yeah, and then we can get four sheep on the rebound. Yeah, because yeah, if okay. if Audi start players, then we get yeah. the sheep back, and if yeah. Audi doesn't start player, then we can start player. Or Heidi maybe will start player, but Heidi will have a hard time start player family growth and feeding. So if she does, then we can definitely attack her food to still grow next round. I agree with this play. Uh, this is also, you can say, a high variance play that we do, but uh, I think this is much more safe than... than uh, yeah, Heidi says, forgot to pass on, she will do that. Oh, okay. So we actually do get the... So we can throw it away. Uh, we can throw away for a, for a wood. <laughs> we don't have to pass it. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So Okay. Uh, I just got a message here. Uh, the Audi is going to be like three, four minutes. Uh, some home issues probably involving his newborn baby. Okay. So uh, I don't know. Maybe we should talk about something relative to the game. What's our future plan? Uh... Yeah. Uh, well, I, I, I have to say the one, the thing I'm really liking right now. Head of the Revolution is in play, and we have sixteen wood, and nobody else has more than one. Ah, oh, good observation. So, Turin Bar at zero wood, Heidi at one wood, uh, Audi at one wood. Um, if we can get our donkey online and start plow, 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 plow three times, yep. Yep. it's going to be really good. Yeah, the other thing I like here is that we've got four food in hand right now, um, and we've got the fireplace in play, so the sheep coming back just feeds us for like the next two harvests, or potentially three harvests, depending. Um, especially with backyard well, depending on the timing of that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm liking I'm liking our setup. I agree. Uh... You know what I really like? I really like that we have backyard well. Because it's just another opportunity to well in chat. <laughs> so what's uh, what's the situation like in Oslo? Are you guys on shelter in place? Like, are you able to go around, go out very much, or what's? The... Everybody is free to do whatever they want, uh, but everybody stays home. Wow, responsible citizens. Yeah, uh, and and saying that uh, people go to work, uh, the the commute is still running. But instead of uh, not, now, you sit and you have no no people in the ten seats around you, so it's very few people. Uh, and the may uh, there's two of uh, two issues in the media now. There are of the coronavirus. Are we handling? Is our approach uh, good, or is the UK and the Swedish approach good, which is basically a little bit more looser, mm -hmm. or and how is the economy handling this? Mm -hmm. That's basically everything that's going on. That's really uh, interesting. So in in my city, they just made public transit free for everyone, and uh, part of the and part of the reason that they made it free, which is not for the good of the citizens, it's because the drivers didn't want people coming on and off. Like it, it's not safe for the drivers were not protected. So it's for mm -hmm. someone to come on and pay the fare, they would have to get extremely close to the driver of a bus. So then uh. the drivers were saying, hey, we can't social distance because we have yeah, all yeah. these people coming on and off all that, day. That makes perfect sense. Uh, in Oslo, you can't uh, pay uh, for tickets uh, at the driver. So. so you have to, they have like vending machines or whatever that you, you do? Uh, you have vending machines, but 95% uh, of people has a, uh, app on their phone that pays for the ticket. Oh, okay. So yeah. you do it all electronically. So we just kind of got that here. Uh, we actually had a, a light rail transit open last last July, and so that is really when they opened that, they put a lot of effort into modernizing um, our system, but we still have like physical passes and physical tickets and stuff for some people. Yeah. Some people have the... Digital. Oh, we still have that as well. And I guess you could also actually buy a ticket at the uh, driver, but nobody does it because that costs, I think, 
two and a half, two hundred and fifty percent, or two hundred percent of the normal fare. Oh, really? So yeah. So a normal fare in I don't know Canadian dollars, but I can do it in American dollars. A uh, normal fare is uh, three dollars and seventy-five cents, mm -hmm. and a fare at the driver is around six and a half. So yeah. So not 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 to no five and a half dollars. So, so okay. So not not two hundred percent, like a hundred and fifty percent of normal price. So, so nobody no nobody does that. So the Canadian dollar is like thirty percent off of. Um... USD, so like three seventy five uh -huh. is about five dollars Canadian. Okay, so that's yeah, that's that's yeah. Uh, um, and actually, it's probably how are we doing? I haven't looked at it recently. Yeah, yeah, it's seventy percent. Um, Rilo Kren just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, Rilo Kren, for the support. Rilo really Kren. appreciate it. Hope you are enjoying the stream. Is that a play on words on the Star Wars character? Uh, I think so. Uh, I've always thought, I assumed that to be the case, but I guess they never asked. So, Rilo <laughs> Kren, you have to tell us what is the origin behind your name. Are you Kylo? <laughs> Who are you? Did you like? Did Did you enjoy the th three new Star Wars movies? Uh, so, I actually haven't seen Rise of Skywalker yet, the ninth one. I, I really liked, I actually got this original trilogy for my, was it my sixth birthday? We got the v box set on VHS, like the gold, whenever they did the gold set. And um, it was my birthday party and we watched them all like that night pretty much. And I, I kind of, I, I really like Star Wars. And we went to see one of my friend's birthday parties. We went to see Phantom Menace when it came out. Um, mm. And so I actually liked, like, I mean, I was nine when I saw Phantom Menace, so I, I enjoyed it. Like, the lightsaber duel was, with Darth Maul yeah. was awesome. Like, Duel of the Fates, oh. awesome. So right. you were, like, born in 1989, 1990? That's right, yeah. So yeah. Uh, I actually liked the prequel trilogies. Um, the thing about Episode Seven, I it was, it was good, but it was just, like, such a re rehashing of a new it hope. It was definitely a rehash. I enjoyed it though, but it was a definitely a rehash, and I understand that people had quarrel about that. Definitely. Yeah, like when Han Solo was like, "It's like a Death Star, but bigger." It's like uh, that. <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god!" And then they d even did another trench run and everything. I was yeah. like, "Okay." Yeah. Uh, I, I, I was sort of like, "It's fine. I get it. It's fine." And I think probably I've rewatched them a lot, so maybe I noticed the similarities a bit more than other people may have. But then episode yeah. eight, um, it was just too long and the tension was really silly because uh, yeah. I couldn't get over the fact that you have this fleet chasing this one ship and the one yeah. ship's running out of fuel, but they were like, they didn't just like call in other ships to go and beam in yeah. front of them. Like, I was like, that just makes no sense. Yeah. And then the, um, when the, when Holdo like did her suicide bomb and it yeah. worked, I was like... Well, why didn't they just do that with the Death Star? And <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, and the side trip to like the the slave planet, like the casino planet. I was like, okay, yeah. that was that was kind of boring. So yeah. I didn't okay. really like it very much. Yeah, I I enjoyed some parts. Okay, back to Agricola because this is also an Agricola. Not only Star Wars and Corona talk here, <laughs> boys and girls out there. Uh, start player. What do we play? Do we play Barbershop for four points, or do we play something else? We could play the backyard well here to get another food before the next harvest. Yeah, because uh, because right now, uh, who is our main competitor for uh, head of the revolution? Because I, I can guarantee you, Aldi and Heidi. I cannot guarantee you, but Aldi and Heidi will not see uh, if we don't put out the stone. They will not see. They will. They will not see that coming. Turambar will see it coming. But uh, but if we if we play uh, backward well now and don't put out the stone, we could we could trick both Heidi and Adi. I'm like ninety five percent sure. I I feel like we don't even need to trick them to just okay. hit to just hit the bonus because we're okay. so far ahead on fencing. Yeah. Okay. I feel, go ahead. I feel like that is something that we can do anyways. Uh, what do we throw away? Because uh, if for some miracle reason. We will. We could play barbershop later for three points. I wouldn't like to throw away it, but I don't see us us getting to play that. But uh. um, 
we could probably throw field, I think. Yeah. Yeah. To because, save the stone. Yeah, because we have all this good fencing up and running, so. Yeah. Lucky for us, people are building four and five rooms and uh, they have spent a lot of wood and uh, had a third revolution is in the game and we have 15 wood. Mm -hmm. And we have. And we could have a new room incoming with uh, basically another room, but uh, family growth, country doctor wise. But that's probably going to be in round 13, most likely. So Rattlecren says, it's a play on Kylo Ren. My first name starts with Rai, my last name starts with Kren. Fun. Yeah, cool. Okay, so we at least we, we spotted that. That's uh, credit to us as well, right? I have very strong opinions, but the internet is not the place. <laughs> also, guys, I just played the backyard well. Wells in chat, let's go. <laughs> How did you, uh, is that something you have made or something you have implied, uh, implemented the well? Um, I just stole the image from the, um, the Z, uh -huh. okay. the Z man. Oh, yeah, cool. I, I did have to like edit it to like crop it and everything. Uh huh. Cool. The X Men 9, my sister worked for Marvel Disney around when the seventh movie came out. Um, that is a very entertaining statement to me, but I agree the internet is not the best place for <laughs> strong opinions. I do think, well, I will say guys, I do think a lot of the pushback against the new trilogy is in some way based on some amount of sexism and misogyny. But I would like to think that my criticism is not related to that. <laughs> um, and that's all I want to say about Star Wars. And we can... Oh, what? How's the well so little? Look at this HIKLG. It's a squashed wow, well. Small. It's a squash well. <laughs> squashed well. Very cute. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, we took six wood, yeah. So family growth play barbershop here. Yep. Tossing for a reed. So I think I toss acreage at this point. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is good. I didn't see this coming. I thought, yeah, I like it. And this is a four-point barber shop. Yeah, because Turambar has zero grain. If like if Turambar had like five grain and the clay oven now, or four grain right now, I, I would have uh, I would have wanted to go for harvest helper acreage later. But uh, yeah, no grain are showing. Yeah, these guys are. I mean, these guys have to get busy now because uh, Heidi has uh, land agent and uh, Aldi has market woman. Almost, almost guaranteed. Uh, because I don't think Turambar takes land agent or market woman when he has boats when it's not at least not his style right um, it's too much overlap yeah for him uh, well m maybe for everyone but certainly for him so they have uh, they are going to be busy to secure yeah so basically our, our harvest helper and and also maybe acreage is just uh, not going to happen Adi so please we... pelts we need two more wood then, uh, uh, because we can throw away one wood for fence. Two more wood? I think, uh, I think we yeah. only need 13. 13? Uh, okay, Three. let's count this. 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think Six. we're perfect. We can throw Seven, away for our 13th mm -hmm. wood. Well, 13. Wow, we can throw away, we can fence now. Yeah, and that's what if, I if, if if we want to, but no, uh, I think that's the play. I think that's definitely yeah, the yeah. play because we're yeah. gonna have a pair of sheep, pair of boar available next round. Yeah, and then we can have start player donkey at some points. Yeah, this is just. And I'm gonna throw away. Is country doctor worse than harvest helper right now? I guess wood distributor is worse than both of them because yeah, we don't we're need gonna... wood anymore. Yeah, harvest helper first. Uh, wood distributor could be played to prevent someone else from getting six wood later, but yeah, doesn't matter. Go ahead. I think I'll throw the wood distributor. Yeah, you're, you're right about that. that. There is the chance. Yeah, but, but I mean, why would we want to play, use an action to do that? So yeah. if we had educator or whatever. So. But uh, yeah, we have one played occupation this game. That's, Who uh, needs ox? Yeah, yeah, you can tell this is not me playing on my own, right? Because uh, <laughs> if it was me playing on my own, I'd have Five occupations in play. <laughs> no, guys, playing, the reason I play occupations so much is because they're good. 
and because usually playing a lot of occupations is a good strategy. And if you look yeah, at uh, D David David Chin's analysis that he did recently, the winning farm usually had on average for G four five five occupations in play, which is a yeah. lot. I would think the number uh, that number decreases if you have less, because uh, I think in G four, G five, and G six there are some cards that are there's there's more synergies yep. and there's some cards that are just amazing to get other cards out especially minor improvements yes agreed yeah because totally because because the eik cards that put out easier to get uh majors or minors though except for scholar those cards are pretty bad like businessman traveling salesman all those are merchant all those are basically crap yeah in g4 g5 organized handyman for example it's, oh, it's a very good card so you get three Free minor uh, actions, not, mm -hmm. not free, but you get and, and you get food. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's just it's a whole other ball, ball game. I will say I did lose to Merchant the other day. No, <laughs> not when I say it's a bad card. Please <laughs> make me look bad. Who 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 played Pelts by the way? Yeah, that was Audi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a little extra payoff for his five room house, but uh, he's gonna have a hard time fencing. Yep. And the food might actually end up being pretty expensive because he's gonna have a hard time getting enough uh feed five by the way. Uh he's gonna have a hard time getting animals breeding, like yeah. especially if he grows really aggressively. Yep. Okay, so we have room for three wild boars and unlimited uh sheep or cattle and just one of the other animals. Because three, three wild boars. Well, no, two wild boars only. Two, yeah, two and one so two, of yeah. So, so two cattle basically is our goal, and uh, and one one of the other kind, and yeah. yeah. So it doesn't really matter which hoarder. Uh huh. Wow. Oh, hoarder is like did, hoarder is like politician and hoarder. Did we see? We didn't see any, either of them. So. No, those are her second, third pick, or maybe one of them, or even first pick. Yeah, that's not overwhelming strength of uh, for first, first yeah. second, third pick. So we might we might be pretty lucky that we got past Cloister Dweller here. Yeah, I don't understand. I, I would have taken Cloister Dweller ahead of Politician or Hoarder, but yeah. Although Hoarder and was what? really Hoarder was one of the strongest cards in uh, WM when it came out because it was yeah. one of the few really good point ceiling cards yeah okay we are last here so we can that's kind of nice when you uh talk while playing because then we can see what everybody else does and then we can have really good time analyzing what sh should we do mm -hmm. uh we should get donkey so out in round 11. Food? did i not put out enough food i did not put out enough food backyard well is three food yeah yeah i need to put out one more food Um, how do we think about the start player action? We probably start player donkey round 11, right? Uh, yeah, that could, uh, be a start player into family growth without room, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, two wild boars here is pretty high on my wish list. Yeah. Uh, and, uh... And maybe we we need to get food somewhere we also food. because I we mean, want I... to play field one round eleven yeah. most likely. I think we probably want to take boar and take sheep. Um, you know what? I actually think we might not need to play field warden until round twelve, potentially even round thirteen. The reason uh -huh. being, uh, I think head of the revolution is going to be so difficult for our opponents yeah. to hit just because of how little food, yeah. how how little wood they have. Yeah. We, we might be able to really slow play Head of the Revolution. I agree. Uh, and this is uh, for all of you guys watching that are familiar with like G4, G5. There's so many surprise more wood cards in those packs like Bamboo. Mm -hmm. Your next five fences cost you nothing. Uh, a lot of like Wedgie Trellis, something like this. Wedgie Trellis, yeah. yes. Yeah. And there's a lot of those cards uh, out there. So in, in, in this more controlled environment, 
Uh, it's uh, we have very good control of uh, head of the revol revolution. Rope fences, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, rope fences. Yeah, there you go. That's another one. Outhouse round. Oh, ten. This is nice for us. <laughs> this is very nice for us, right? That Heidi start player. Yeah, I think that's very very good. Outhouse round ten. Yeah, that's not your normal. Talk about high variance card playing that around ten. Um, yeah, two wild bar is for me the first pick, and then two sheep, and yeah. then third action something. M maybe, maybe. Uh, but we need crops at some point as well. Uh, we don't. We, we can't. Do you think we're looking at turn bar? Maybe getting some sewing done. I in guess turn bar's maybe gonna clay up. He's gonna sew in round 12, 13, He's gonna sew, not earlier, because. You, you because don't think he want he wants to sew, sew his vegetable this round so that he can re sew in round fourteen? Yeah, he can sow his vegetable all, all he wants. He, we're not going to get to harvest help him. With well, that, I, so. I'm wondering if he is going to sow his vegetable. Maybe he'll sow the grain as well, potentially. No, I think he's just going to take fishing and use the hand mill for feeding. And, and, and uh, he's going to sow one time this game, I, I, I dare. Well, mm. depending on plow sow opportunity. Looks like we get the sheep back, so maybe we take vegetable or take grain with our last move. We have unblockable vegetable yeah. actions with Field Warden. Yeah, I would like uh, to take a crop here, so definitely take grain would be better, I think. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> and then we can, and then we could take two cattle. Could take two cattle uh, first action around eleven, and then start player. But maybe start player first action is, is better. Yeah, two run bar taking t 10 clay like ages ago, but the well is still not being... Uh, yeah, he, he it has... is. It is unusual with how much stone has been out. Yeah. Heidi builds the pottery. Yeah. Does we she could... have two... We could cook does, her does upgrade. She have... Did, does, does she have two stone after buying the pottery? Yes. Yeah, yeah she had four before. Oh. Yeah. I wish I uh, I wanted her to build the well instead of two round bar. The well. Yeah. But I guess pottery is six food for her, and the well is only four, and the four it comes out. And you know what? Turn bar just ran out to stone instead of building the well. Wow. Wow. To play a star classification meal. Wow. Yeah, we didn't see any stone reno cards, no. Not any stone reno cards. But it, we haven't seen. His first or second pick yet, though. Yeah, so it might be a scholar. Could be a scholar, a late scholar, but when he has scholar, he goes typically all in scholar, mm -hmm. though. But yeah, could be a scholar, definitely. There scholar. is there is a reason why he's not building the well here, and scholar very well could be it. Could also be the and no, he couldn't have first picked the animal card from France. <laughs> Joy journeyman. Yeah, journeyman. No, no, that can. Uh, <laughs> no scholar, way. Scholar, Style girl, probably not. Both swing. Yeah, so yeah, I don't understand. Uh, it could be Stonehouse extension, or it could be uh, Scholar. Those are the two. Stonehouse extension. I haven't seen that. Yeah, he, he only needs to read some food grab for that. So. Oh yeah, thanks HIKLJ. But again, th then he would have had to first or second pick that. So yeah, yeah, I don't know. Probably Scholar because we haven't seen his first uh, or second. Right. You have food laying out there. There's a ton of food out there. And I also have to take my winter dead wood. All right. Yeah. Um, I like taking a crop here. I, the other thing yeah. I was thinking, we could upgrade the cooking hearth, but uh, that's not available anymore. So I kind of like taking one grain here. Yeah, I agree. Because we need our crops both for uh, incoming field warden opportunities and also maybe country doctor but country doctor so yeah. i i don't know how likely it is but there's a chance that two cattle comes back oh very it's, low it, it, it's a guaranteed that uh, oh it c comes back to us oh oh uh, i'm thinking hmm. we really we really probably need to start player donkey okay i i agree that we can start player donkey but i won't hold my breath or anything for two cattle because <laughs> the audi has uh he has um, uh, pelts. The, fire, uh, the pelts. 
Yeah. Um, so that's basically four food and two points for him. It should be good enough to take first action. But uh, but he's in wood wood he's in wood uh, uh, dire strait, and there's going to be four wood for well, him. So that's so. that's what I'm basically wondering: is does Heidi yeah. first action build a uh, family growth? Maybe because yeah. Audi. No, you know what? Never mind. Audi doesn't need to grow anymore, so Heidi wow. doesn't have to first action growth. They are in. Heidi is hungry. The Audi is semi hungry. I wouldn't say Audi is so hungry. Uh, hi K L I J, but uh, I don't know. And also, I I know Audi from personal experience over the board Agricola, and he doesn't really. He gambles with food way more than he should. Way more. So many times he's just sitting there with his last two actions in a run and have to scramble for food. It just happens so so often. And th have we seen any like magic food cards? No. No layabout? No, no not nothing. really. Yeah. Nothing like that. Okay. Yeah. I think if we don't start player, it looks very likely that Turambar will. Oh, and, yeah. I and agree. that would be bad for us. Yeah, I agree. Dark player, Dunkai. Eon. Yeah, I mean, he has three food on his farm, plus a cattle, plus the reed from Basket Maker's Workshop. So Audi has nine food already with four, uh, four actions. And he actually only needs to feed nine HAKLJ because he... His family planner is a newborn, so only needs nine food. So, I mean, I agree that he needs to pick up food for the future, but, like, this cattle is four food plus two points, for example. Would have liked to have gotten there, but didn't happen, unfortunately. Yeah. He, uh, he did go down the cattle routes, I can say. Yeah, it makes sense. How high do we value just taking plow one field here? Mm, plow two fields um, with donkey. Um, it's it's reasonable. Uh, it will guarantee us one hundred percent that we will get. Head of the we're gonna get that. Yeah, we're gonna get that either way. But I mean, okay, Heidi has eleven wood. She needs twelve to fence somehow. Then she needs to plow twice. Hmm. How are we? Uh, how are we getting by food wise now? We want to keep one. We eat one sheep, so that's four. We need two food, because we wanna we want our uh, wild boar to breed both for food, um, easy food later on, or more points. Yep. So, so yes, how can we do that? Yeah, the fee our feeding is not great here. Hey, Mariska. Not great. Um. Hmm. I mean, we could take a boar. We could fish. Actually, fishing blocks Turambar quite a bit. Yeah, fish is nice because uh, that keeps us at six food. Uh, and, and, and and do we have a food now in round 11 that we haven't picked up? Is that our no, food? No, I already picked it up. Okay, okay, okay. Because we had zero food at the last harvest and we haven't picked up any yet. Yeah, okay. Let's screw with the best player at the table. I like that. Plan. Careful with wood. Turambar can steal Head of the Revolution. Um, yeah, he only needs uh, he only needs three more wood to head of the revolution, right? And then that's ten, right? Eight, nine, ten. No, he needs twelve. He needs five more. Twelve is the it's like right. All two, those so two more actions. Yeah, two more actions, and one of them has to be a three wood action that is semi good actions for Adi, so he might take that as well. Here's the market woman. Yeah. Place market woman. Pretty... Turambar responds by immediately taking one vegetable. Turambar yeah. might. Uh... So I agree now to plow two fields. By the way, yeah, if it's available. Yeah. Heidi will family growth. It looks like unless unless she doesn't have enough food. She has six food. Four plus two from pottery. Uh, she only needs. Yeah, she doesn't have enough food. The way I see, but. Who who is who owns the food that's laying around? I think that's her. I think she owns that food from fruit tree. Oh, okay. Yeah, she hasn't picked it up yet. Okay, that's a yeah. good point. Yes, because yeah. Turnbar is top left. Yeah, makes sense. 
So she does have that food there. So yeah, I like plowing here. Is second sec is uh, high disposition second? Is that always top right? Um, that's my convention. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I agree. Uh, yeah. But sometimes position sometimes two people and three. do different stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All the way down right is basically always fourth for me, but. So that that that's the one. So I think one and two, seat one and two, are clear. I think the it's not clear where seat three and four go. That those yeah, are. I see everyone does something a slightly different. Yeah, yeah. I I wouldn't mind cleaning up this uh, interface thing. For example, the under the nicknames, all the text in black. I would like instead of those, I would like to have a new button, which is basically hotkeys. And then you can have a new window with hotkeys just to clean up a little bit. And then maybe even that, like, have an indicator on the side where all these spare miners and um, uh, occupations are right now. Have have their, like, for example, where do you put your stuff or, yeah, something like that. Could be a little bit more cleaned up, I think, this uh, windows. Uh, HIKL chases know. plowing vertical is safer. That's true. Yeah, I guess oh. I always think about doing them in pairs, but you're right. That's a different way to think about plowing. Yes, but this doesn't give our cloister dweller away. <laughs> yeah, because our fencing definitely did not give our cloister dweller away. <laughs> Ooh, Lord of the Manor. Here's his very likely first pick. Yep. Oh, boy. It does hurt... Lord of the Manor certainly does not want to get head of the revolution as much because it really eats into his potential crops or fields and pasture points. Yeah. And um, take note that he paid two food for this occupation instead of waiting one round. So he True. basically has all his round 12 actions now uh, in his mind, I think. Uh, uh, hey, we got family growth. That's nice. And I think after Family Growth, I would like to us to eat a boar and play Field Warden. Agreed. Agreed. We're playing Agree. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind us having a cooking hearth in the uh, in the future, but of course, it's an action for for not too much. But yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. We can even family growth round 14 with... No, we can't family growth with Country Doctor now. Or can we? No. Seems unlikely. Can we... Fa can we... Can we... Country Doctor family growth when we have four people in three rooms with that card? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely, we can. yeah. Oh, yeah, because then, then then we could have then we can throw away harvest helper for one point in on winter deadwood. That's a four four point move in round fourteen. But we 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 because we're at some point we're gonna run out of stuff to do. I'm actually wondering if that works. Be uh, I just have to reread village well. Pay uh, one less building resource. So then, how does Winterwood Deadwood phrase it? Ooh. Pay one wood. Yeah, no, okay, yeah, because it's a, it's a, it says pay. It doesn't say oh, like yeah. discard or whatever. I didn't, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's a uh, very good, uh, very good point. Oh, very good for us that Ode took three wood. Agreed. Because yeah. because now Turambar is that much further away from uh, stealing head of the revel. Head of the revolution. Hey, Rake, she has idea. Yeah, nobody took that. Nobody have played that uh, Iron Plow or... Yeah, it was Iron Plow, I think, we saw yes. in the draft. Yeah, the one stone one would. Yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite plow, that and Steel Plow. And also the the, the new very cheap France card, the uh, one that uh, gives you three weird fields. Uh, like in the oh, middle, through the middle? middle? Yeah, through the middle. I, that's basically my favorite, especially with Boatswain. It's just amazing. That, that's the best plow for boatsmen. Mm -hmm. Actually, all the France plows are very cool. The the one that distributes wood is cool. Yeah, all, all the WM and and France uh, plows are cool. I think. Yeah, yeah. Donkey is really by nice donkey is by is by far the best plow, but it's does not plow in its name, but it's 
in technically it's a plow. <laughs> but not... It's a special plow. Okay. It's a special plow. Uh, okay, so now I would like um, occupation field warden and maybe vegetable. We have to count. He's plowing there. He needs at least uh, 10 wood. To... He needs 10 wood and then Pen. Three more wood and then fence in order. But with Lord of the Manor, I think he's going to 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 get up to twelve wood and maximize Lord of the Manor. Yeah, he does get an extra field coming in next round. So yeah, he is. If... So there is yeah. a possibility that turn bar fences ten and then might try to go back and fill in his fences later. Yeah. Okay. I Options think either us, way. We yeah, should play uh, Field Warden. Uh, yeah, Field Warden is nice. Two Wild Boar. Two Wild Boar now and Field Warden uh, third act this round could be nice. Uh, I because... like Field Warden here because it gives us the oppor option of plowing one field with our first action, our third action, and then first yeah, action yeah. plowing two. Okay, okay. But then, then, we, then we most likely will have to pick up animals in round 13 as yes. our first action. Yeah. And we're probably going to be fourth because Adi is running out of uh, options, and he has four people still. Yeah. But what 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 one of his actions are is going to take uh, be two two wild boars for six uh, four food and two points. Uh, yeah, HRKLJ, he doesn't know about um, Field Warden. Uh, hello, Axiom. You just hello. joined the room. Yeah. Uh, we're playing against your brother, dude. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know there were going to be two playing in a team, but okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I offered a seat. Runa asked me to offer a seat to someone. I offered it to William here. And then Runa, in the meanwhile, uh, fixed another player. And then I thought, yeah. hmm, could it be cool if me and William play together? And uh, also casting the tournament, so we're uh, we're uh, on Twitch right now and yeah. commentating while we play. Okay. Yeah. So, don't so you're play playing really awful. Yeah, but you're playing all the games then. Uh, we we don't know because he's in he's in Canada and it doesn't. I don't think it's. Uh, but but if 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 William can play all the games together with me, I would like that. But uh, if he can't, I will still play. And then, if he has to skip one because of time issues, uh, uh, well, yeah, then I will play alone. Okay, yeah. Well, we'll see after after the game what happens. But uh... yeah, your brother is not happy, by the way. He just wrote to me in chat. This is my wor wor worst game in years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he was going to get twenty points, but I think he's like, exaggerating. So <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I haven't watched. <laughs> uh, hi, Axiom. So uh, we actually used to play together a lot, like. I don't know, 2015, 2016, when you played a lot yeah. on the site? Maybe, yeah, I don't don't remember. It's been a while. You're not so active anymore. Uh, do we plow two fields here, Domba? Uh, I like uh, securing our food here, but because uh, two Rumbar starting player, uh, Heidi... Well, no, Heidi just fenced. Uh, yeah, why not do it? Yeah, why not do that? Because Heidi okay. can third action plow and then first yeah, action yeah. plow next round. Yeah, of course, round. of course. Uh, but 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 sh yeah, she she's going to steal ahead of the revolution. We, oh, we, we, she'll we, do that either we, way. We can't stop her. Oh because, uh, yeah, you're right. But at least now, uh, if we if we plow now, at least we have a chance to take it. So let's plow. Do you think so? I think if she's going to steal it either way, then. But then, if 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 we plow now, at least we have the chance. And then we get higher, then we get more animals. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. We could get three sheep next round or two cattle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 All right. But of course, Adi has still uh, actions behind us and he's hungry. But yeah, go ahead. Oh boy. We actually didn't win the head of the revolution. Yeah, that stinks. That stinks but I, I feel like it's kind of because Heidi Gimter. Gimped her game oh, a little bit. Another thing, can we take three? If she takes that, then we can take three stone and build a well. That's a good consolation prize, but it's two actions for four points and a food. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's something. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'll leave you to it then. So, okay. Okay, see you. Hi. Yeah, she plows, I believe. Yeah. Uh, I see it uh, here, my little uh, thing. I guess it's not too uncommon for first action in round 13 to d decide the head of the revolution. We sl we did slow play it maybe a little too much. Uh, the, the hay rake is doing work here. Thing is, Heidi will get the three points, but she's going to have like no other points. <laughs> yeah, she's going to... She she If she had uh, two more fences here and a shepherd's crook, for example, she would get four. four uh, then I would like say this is a good play for her. But this basically helps to round bar, I think. But uh, we'll see. We shall see. Uh, where's the Reeve? Five for Audi and three for to round bar. To round bar right now. And when he plays Lord of the Manor that early, basically means that he doesn't have too many great ox later, I think. I w yeah, that would be my assumption. Yeah. Unless he also has, like... Well, no, there's no way he got um, Organic Farmer, right? Well, no, organic he farmer got, he, was our sixth pick. Yeah, uh, the Audi has organic farmer right. if he if he cho chose to choose take it. it. Yep. Party on the plow space. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we had a game where five people were on the family growth space the other day. That was insane with backdoor. Whoa, backdoor. It happened actually two times in the Norwegian, in the Oslo tournament, but I believe none of the games were actually in the tournament. They were in like side games after the tournament ended for that night. Somebody st stay on played, and it happened two times that weekend. <laughs> Five people on the family. That's funny. Back door. Mm, okay, so where are we? Heidi is thinking she just took wood. And uh, Turan Bar is uh, starting in round 13. So let's see. Is there anything cool for her? Two cattle, three sheep, or plow plus head of the revolution? I got to imagine it's plow, uh, but yeah, it's, you never know. When did I get the in-game cattle icon? That's the, um, it's a horse, it's actually a horse, or I think it was a yeah. horse at one point. She, she plowed a field, so we can, we have to think what is best uh, of two cattle and three sheep compared to the other players, because point-wise, it's, no, it's not the same. I think t because we have limited space for our second type of animal, I think the two cattle is better. Yeah, move, move uh, yeah, move sheep to the house yeah. and let two cattle be two points in that small pasture. Yeah, or potentially what we'll I think we'll probably have to end up eating animals so we can eat the sheep to make room for the cattle to breed. Yeah, we have to take vegetable this round, and in round and plow so, and then t I think maybe vegetable round fourteen and plow so. Well, and well, we can plow so twice. Well, we can plow so twice if we want to, for and only taking one field at a time, but probably not. Mm -hmm. M maybe now we just take vegetable and take another vegetable later. Yeah, and then plow so round fourteen. Yeah, and because Heidi didn't have any grain, we can't harvest help anyone. But of course, we wouldn't play harvest help just for one grain. Here. Okay. Um, Heidi... If we get three sheep back, I'd be pretty happy. Yeah, but I don't see what Heidi is going to take. <laughs> Re read some food to secure. To get to, to Reno, yeah. Yeah, Re Re Reno Stone Oven, that's kind of important for her, but nobody else is in the Reno queue, so. And uh, Turambar has taken stone somewhere, so he is back on securing the well. Mm -hmm. and, uh... It's going to be
Yeah, she goes for the sheep grab here, just to kill all our hopes. But that's six food for us. Uh, there's four food on the traveling fairy spot, so mm -hmm. it's not a disaster. But I think we have to prioritize food. I think so. I think we need and food. I think I Audi think needs food as well, so I feel like not taking the four food here is leaving ourselves open. Yeah. Because wild boar is only two food for us, right? Yeah, we don't have the cooking here. Yeah. Four food, definitely. Best play. I guess Audi maybe will stone oven. But he'd be kind of sad to do that and not get to a stone house. Yeah, but he is... Uh, yeah. But, yeah, that could definitely be his uh, way out of feeding issues. But he is sad with his uh, non-existing farm. Yeah. He took more stone. Yeah. Now he can now he sets himself up for run offenses. And that puts Heidi in a good spot for Reno Stone Oven for points. He has six but, stones, so do we do we think Audi maybe took uh, Iron Plow and is gonna try to iron plow? Ooh, that could definitely be, be a starting player action from him. He definitely most likely took the iron plow. Most likely. Because when he has market woman from before, yeah, I think that makes sense. And also with head of the revolution, it just makes a whole lot of sense. Hmm. I think I'm taking a vegetable here. Okay. Or uh, maybe take who a is our, Who is our competitor here? It's only, it's only Mr. Uh, Turambar. I think so. Heidi has a very sad farm. Audi doesn't have a farm. Mm -hmm. um, could there be? A, 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 could there be a place in the world for us throwing away a card and just going on fences in round 14? If he doesn't do it first action? Uh, could that, yeah. Could, could that win, yeah, could that could win us that. the game? Yeah. Because cause he, well, he will then uh, build uh, four stables. Mm -hmm. So that's four on your spaces. I don't know. But may, maybe we can, maybe we can, we don't have to decide on that yet. But he, he will, I don't, yeah, we'll have to see. I'm hoping Heidi will take starting player here. Yeah. Or, or maybe we can take start player Winter Deadwood for a point and then uh, and then but the, the, and then throw away Country Doctor for offense. So that would be Yeah. Uh, we could do that. Great. Yeah. That would be very cool. Either way, I think we take the vegetable, we can decide uh there's the iron plow. Yeah, there's the iron plow. So Turambar at least will have the chance to Take first action fences. But that means he's using plow. So it's very unlikely that Heidi will want to plow so. So we can consider first action plow so just because it takes the action away from our opponents. Yeah, we, we could consider that. Uh, but I think maybe. If we don't plow so, Audi might plow so. Like he might do plow and then plow so, depending on yeah. how many crops he's left with. Yeah, how, how is our feeding right now, by the way? We're going to have to eat one more thing. Okay. So maybe we want to take food with our last action. So like taking a boar. Yeah. Oh, two food. Oh, my God. Why didn't we have the... Cooking hearth, yeah. Cooking hearth. With the with the clay worker, we should have had the cooking hearth. But yeah, too late now. That's, the, that's one thing I don't like about our game so far, is that we don't have that. And... I would really like to have a little bit more crop right now, but I mean, it's not like we should have taken land agent for Cloister Driller, so Cloister Driller will be... And we also have to think about Cloister Driller uh, very early, because Heidi would want to build a fifth occupation, will play a right. fifth occupation to tie, and then the other one would like to play something to go ahead again right. in round 14. Right. That's a good. That's a really good point. So, uh, and if we do close to dweller now, we are kind of like secured. But then our feeding, we would end up having to eat our two boar or one of our boar and not breed them. Yeah. Blah. Okay. Food then. I think so. Yep. I'm just looking at if there's anything else. Um, HIKLJ suggested plow so, then we could eat a grain. Ooh, that's nice, because then we can plow so one more time in round 14, To then we can eat more vegetables in round 14. 
that's actually a decent play. Okay. Uh, yeah, I but think I, that, that seems okay. Yeah. Oh, I wish we had like one more grain or one more vegetable at this point. Yeah. It would be a tad bit, a little bit better. Yeah. Hmm. Nobody has, nobody has sown this game. Not once. This is the first sow action in the game. Oh no! Uh, I'm thinking. Uh, I, I believe he he thought leaving one field open, or we can still, of course, we can still um, we, can we can still plow. So uh, if, if we want to uh, do the sow action, uh huh. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Using the sow action yeah. only is legal. It's legal. Okay. I didn't. I didn't realize actually. Yeah. The countryman jumping from vegetable to plow and sow with field warden, kind of action. Just thought of that for some reason. Be amazing for us this round. Okay, <laughs> so uh, prioritizing. Um, prioritizing. Cloister dweller. I agree, cloister dweller. Uh, First, you're totally right that Audi could play an occupation to secure his wreath bonus. Yeah. And yeah. Hmm. So many people on the site. Everyone must be stuck inside. <laughs> it's a pandemic or something. <laughs> yeah, but I actually talked to Chris earlier today about if you scroll up now, mm -hmm. all these unknowns. I I would like to get him. I told him, uh, can you make? Sh can you like get rid of the unknowns? Like yeah. at least as aesthetically, when you watch the site, so that would be nice. Just don't. Don't let the if the unknown is playing a game for uh, like a solo game, fine. But if yeah. not, just get rid of them. Does sure. um was he online or did you email him or? Uh, he came, I I played a warm up game like two hours ago, and then he just came in and chatted with me and Gen H and some some oh, others. Yeah. yeah. And and he basically said where he was very ecstatic with a hundred people on the site, and I told him what have you done with the site that's so popular? What what have you been doing? <laughs> Not mentioning Corona, uh, and then, then then we said. Then I suggested that, and he he liked that idea. But he he gets a lot of ideas for his this website, and he has a l very little time to yeah. do something with it. Yeah. Uh, in our Norwegian group, we have discussed that maybe some should somebody should reach out to him and maybe like take part in the site, so make it better with suggestions from the players. Yeah, cer certainly if we could get him, like, even if he could post on GitHub or something, like, make the make the um, uh, coding for the site, like, open source, then at least people could contribute and then he could decide whether he wanted to implement the, the changes yeah. or not. But, yeah, yeah, something like that would be kind of nice. Yeah. But it would probably uh, be work for him to get, it, get the code onto a site like that, so. Yeah. Let's see if Turnbar first action uh, plows or fences here. Yeah. I guess if he doesn't get fence, um, he could build the joinery for five points. Yeah. How many points is fences for him? It's uh, six, eight points? It's eight points. Joinery, yeah. joinery would be five, so we could take away one of our points. Well, I guess it's point yeah. neutral for us. Okay. Can't we? Can we do this? Play cloister dweller and then fence on the next action. Yes. Yeah. If it's still available. Yeah. And then third action could be vegetable and then, and then so yeah. And then eat vegetables, and probably a wild boar. Yeah, a wild boar is free for us. Uh, yeah. We get two free food from wild from boar. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Heidi forgot to place a clay. Uh, you should remind her. Uh, she has two hoarder? excess clay. Yeah, hoarder clay. She should be. She, this is, as I said, her third game online. So she should definitely get some help. Did she mention it? She might have mentioned it already. She might want to keep the uh, clay because she just end. Uh, she just ate a clay. It sounds like. Yeah, Audi. Actually, the plow so is going to be massive. You're right. You're you're absolutely right. Enough five point pelts, and Reeve. 
Yeah, that's a good point, HKLJ. The Iron Plow and the Market Woman just made a world of difference, which is hilarious that the Family Planner... Family Planner round, with Round 7 Family Growth is uh, is actually doing okay. Okay. Um, uh, she took a beggar card? Wow. She missed, missed her feeding. Um, yeah, I think this and then fence if... Uh, it's available just to make Torum Bar's life even worse. But Fence, of course, takes away one point from us, and yeah, I don't know. And it might be king making Audi, potentially. <laughs> yeah, Audi's be... game has actually like really come along. I guess five actions per round does that. Yeah. And he has Renault Fence secured up. Let's see, that's five. Uh... 5 plus 6 on new spaces, that's 11, plus 3 points, that's 14 points. We, we, we could go into the scores and actually find out where he is uh, before we decide, but most likely Chorumbar is going to fence here. No, Chorumbar is actually going to sow and bake, I believe. For his cookies? Yeah, that's cookie points, and it's, uh, and it's food. Well, it doesn't need food, I guess, but... Well, he needs some food, and, and it's 2 points on vegetables. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have 40 points right now without breeding. Yeah. Audi. Audi's at 28. Oh, you have to you have, you have to take away one action from Audi and, and I think add, I, I believe it is 14 or 15 points for his random offense. Yeah. So Audi is actually looking like, Audi I think is in the lead right now. Hilar okay. Which is unexpected. Wow. I, di I did not see that we were going to lose this game to him uh, yeah. in the middle game. I must admit that. Yeah. Turambar is going to miss enough categories for his Lord of the Manor that I think Audi is beating Turambar. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Lord of the Manor, also for him, it's going to he's going to sow and bake because of Lord of the Manor. It's three points for him in vegetable category. And it's two points in grain category, but, but he can get grain from fishing, so... Yeah, okay, the fact that so, Audi played the Iron Plow and then got Plow back was huge. He got, he got Plow back, wow. After That's... playing Iron Plow in round 13. That was really yes. big. So Heidi was basically going all in for uh, Head of the Revolution, and that basically just took three points just straight out, out of our hand. Yeah. Could we have stopped her? And, and then she ended note? up begging, too. That's unfortunate. Yeah. That's unfortunate. But yeah, normally she's, she's a very good player, but... Uh, Third game on play Agricola, I think she just might be a little overwhelmed. Definitely. She beats me Yeah, from time to time, regular basis. Uh she it comes ahead of me. And also sometimes ahead of Adi. Turambar is like winning a lot when we play live. Mm -hmm. But she has beaten Turambar. So she's much better than her, her farm or score in the game is going to. To indicate yeah definitely. so okay, i two... think we need points yeah so i like um i actually like taking a sheep here because we could eat two cattle and then not uh, eat, have to eat vegetables yeah uh, where is our we don't have any animals in our home no because I ate the boar to uh, pay for the cloister dweller. Uh huh. Of course, of course. So we actually don't have room for. Uh... Okay, so I'm thinking taking sheep for points, and then we eat some animals. Yeah, I think taking taking a sheep, and then I can eat two cattle, and then um, and then yeah, we, we can, can eat one raw grain, so we can feed a grain, a food, and two cattle for eight. Yeah, and then. Uh, we could take grain vegetable or vegetable sowing. before sowing them. Mm. Yeah, sheep is definitely a good play here. Two points. I don't see ours us taking anything else. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I mean, country doctor and then winter deadwood. That's two actions for no. That's good enough for for four points. If our feeding was better, I'd like the Country Doctor play, but our feeding is pretty weak, so I think the yep. extra 
the extra food for the country doctor and the although the no if the country doctor tied us on reeve i'd say let's do it but it doesn't mm. unfortunately yep yeah too bad that's where that's where if the country doctor could be tying us on reed it'd be really like if we had played harvest help if we had been able to play harvest helper instead of having to take one grain then we could be playing country doctor for three points and then family grow thing for another three points yeah that's too bad I guess I'm surprised Audie ended up getting enough wood, considering how yeah, much stone he had to take. It's yeah, Turan Bar for some reason just didn't want to take any more wood, and I'm a little bit surprised because twelve wood for him would be a lot of points. With that would be four four pastures and an extra Lord of the Manor points. But yeah, oh well. And uh, our two actions here, because Audie's actually beating us. That's insane. I didn't think so. He looked to be so. So, so in bad shape. I think he got some actions. I mean, Heidi stopped plowing because she went for uh, head of the revolution. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hm. The shortage of wood made Heidi plow, uh, plow this way and fence this way, and that actually hurt us. And we thought we were in good shape mm -hmm. because of the wood situation. Yeah. And it ended ended up hurting us. That's uh, funny. Uh, okay, so it's basically taking a crop and then sowing. Is that our options? The other option is fencing, but we're going to be Turan Bar no matter what, or because he's saying he's doing so bad in chat here, but he looks decent, but he's going to get a one big pasture. Can we count Turan Bar Turan Bar's fence uh, after he has fenced? Can we count his score? Sure. Uh, four. Uh, he's going to get six points. If he builds stables instead, he's going to get four points. So it's two points for Turan Bar. We can take away two points from Turan Bar if we want to. Will that put us over him or not? That I guess the other question is, how does the scoring for the tournament work? Does seeding position, like, does overall position matter, or is it based on points? No, or? no, it, it's ten points for the winner, six, three, and one in all of the games. In all, in all six games. Mm -hmm. And then there are two rounds after that that are like a final type of thing. So we need to we need to be we need to secure second place if we can. With, uh... okay. Well, if Turnbar fence is eight, uh, he hits uh, three points for Lord of the Manor. He hits two has two points for cookies, so he'll score around forty four. If he fences or no, sorry, fencing is six points. So, Cookies, Lord of the Manor, he's going to hit around 42. We are sitting at 40 at this moment. Uh, no, we're sitting at 42 at this moment, 34 plus 8. But we're going to have to eat some points for food. But we have two actions here to take one point each time. And then we eat probably two points to feed. So I think probably just taking uh, one vegetable. And sewing. Yeah, and so let's go. Fine. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I think. So then, if we eat a vegetable, a boar, and a grain, or no, sorry, not a boar. If we can avoid it, or a cattle, we could eat a cattle for three food. I think we're going to end up having to eat two points either way, so I think it's it's pretty equivalent. Turnbar has been taking a huge risk all of this last round. Audi could have a uh, fence into Renault improvement. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Interestingly, he's been risking it while not taking wood. It's not like he's been taking wood to potentially get a better fence action.
Aud- look, Audi ended up with so it started round thirteen. He had zero fields, and he ended up with four. That's actually insane. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And Turambar actually passed on Plow and So to him. Um. That's um, okay. Turambar, what other stuff did Turambar do? Taking wood, cattle, plow. No, Turambar taking major minor fences. Okay. okay. 2VF A feed 8. So, final score. We're at 42 or 41. So Torumbar is beating us as well? Uh, no, we're at 44, sorry. Looks like we're at 44. Okay. okay. I counted that weirdly. I don't know why I counted that so weirdly. It's I. You know what, I got confused about I forgot about breeding, that we were going to breed an extra point. So 44 point final for us. Um, so it looks like Audi is going to hit around 47. Wow. Insane. So if we had hit the head of the revolution bonus, we'd be tied, I think, very likely. Yeah. It was basically the card that screw, screwed us up this game was Hayrig. Yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't for Hayrig, um, he would not have gotten uncontested. Um, at the end there, yes. Plus at the end, yeah. And uh, and we would have gotten ahead of the revolution. Uh, yeah. It just seemed so secure for us, and still we didn't uh, take it. Yeah. But what could we have done differently this game? Um, I don't know. Um, I would have played very much the same game. Uh, maybe pushed harder. Yeah, we didn't get the, that crop support that we needed for uh, to get out country doctor. Yeah. And yeah, and normally in a round seven family growth game, pl- buying five wooden rooms. Normally, when I do that, I always end up being very screwed on the wood late game. But he managed to get it. He managed to fence twelve, which is co- yeah. which is crazy. Yeah, normally I fence like eight, maximum eight in in a situation like that, and he managed to to do twelve. Adi hits forty five. Mm. We lost by one point. One point, yeah. So that's basically Heidi giving him the game, but she played. That was probably her best move as well. So it wasn't her fault. But uh, yeah. okay, it was close. Uh, we played. We had a, a sound plan all the way, and we followed it through. And we were one point away. And he kind of pulled off, pulled out the miracle right in the last three rounds. It's safe to say that. Yes, I would agree. I would yeah. agree. His, his, yeah. his variance was extremely high. Or, yeah, his variance was extremely high. Because if he yeah. doesn't get, like, two of those wood actions, because Turnbar takes them, then Turnbar mm. goes up, like, four points, and Audi is down, like, five points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and as I said uh, at the beginning of the game, he is a very high variance player. Very high. So, yeah. <laughs> I told you not to I, fall I, into I, Yeah, Trumpus. I fell into your trap. Yep. That's right. What trap was that? <laughs> the three clay fireplace. <laughs> the three clay fireplace. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, uh, what would you have done differently, Lumen? In one sentence or keywords, with our hand, obviously. Uh, after, like from round one, basically, not dur- not during draft. Round seven family growth was good for the family planner, like that. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I sure. I guess I always see family planner and assume you have to go for the first family growth because what's the point of playing him otherwise? But he obviously did not. Um, yeah. Float SP donkey and take two cattle instead. Hmm. We we could maybe look at Turambar's hand to see if he had any miners left that he wanted to play. We could do that. So his meaning delay start player and then. Take two, two cattle, and then take star player next action in, in that rounds back there. Yeah, and I guess we did a we did a plow action instead of a so we did a so we did one bad thing we did is we did a sow action 
on plow so that was just so only and we did a plow action on plow that was just plowing correct correct so we could have one extra action there of course uh -huh. we did that because we were going for the head of the revolution bonus but if we had yeah. seen that we were not going to hit the head of the revolution yeah uh let's look at turn bar's hand oh uh six four five See if he had any miners left that he wanted to play. Wow, my short-term memory is so bad, I could never have remembered those numbers, by the way. Turnbar had Yoke, but he didn't have a cattle. Yeah, he had Yoke is typical, typical for him. He had Heat Wave, so could he have built a fu free fireplace on start player? Uh, No, there were no fireplaces available, I think. I think only a cooking hearth was roaming at the end. So, I yeah. Believe. Turnbar did not have a, a minor he could have played, so he might not have taken start player, which means it might have come back to us. Hmm. Yeah. What did he pass from the fish trap pile? What did he take from the fish? He took fish trap. What else was in that pile? If you scroll up. Bar Barber Canoe. Shop. Canoe. Okay. Yeah, I wonder where canoe ended up. When I take fish trap and I see landing net coming around, I just hate myself because I would want to take that for just to block. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> Other people taking landing net when I have fish. Oh, okay. I didn't s type the name perfectly. So yeah, so basically my suggestion is that you and me, we play this tournament together. And if at, at some point, for example, you cannot play because we're playing European night hours, uh, then I will just play by myself, but I would really like to uh, to play with you. And uh, and it, does this time work for you? Uh, yeah, this time is good. Um, yeah, okay. H half hour before or h half hour later, if you could choose? Uh, earlier, I guess, but it doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, okay, this okay. was fun. And I think, uh, I think people like games where I'm talking with not just myself, so... Uh, Lumen says the power numbers will be different. Yes, that's true. So, like, we took Field Warden ahead of Market Woman, and Market Woman's power is higher, but I think Field Warden is probably better in this. I don't know. And we took Cloister Dweller over Boston. Hmm. I, 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 when I, when I saw Field Warden, I thought, okay, Market Woman or um, Market Woman can't come back, but Seed Seller is good for Field Warden. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and I, I just feel that, uh, I just feel Field Warden is a, is a better. It, it's so many, uh, so many cases. Field Warden is a super strong card. Yeah. And uh, yeah. No, I I agree. And uh, getting Donkey, I think, was really good payoff. Mm. And by the way, you you um, uh, you don't uh, download the power rating numbers on the cards. That's a uh, decision on your part. Because most people play with the power numbers revealed while you draft. Yeah, I mean, I could, I guess I could do that. It would probably be good for the stream, like helpful for people. But I don't know. I like, I, I try to, um, I think an edge that I can have in this game over others is seeing the way the cards interact with each other. And I feel like the power is going to pull me away from making yeah. good combinations. Yeah, yeah. Like, Sometimes you have a draft where you take the card that's not the highest power, but you create, you craft a hand that works so well together that it doesn't matter. Yeah. Lumen is making a good point here in the chat that Market Woman is way much better in G4, 5, 6, yes. 7, I guess, because a lot of miners give vegetables. Yes. And, and uh, occupations uh, give vegetables too. Yeah. 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 And also Field Warden, uh, there's so much uh, insane ways of plowing in those decks. Like every time you eat a wood with joinery, you get a plow. Right. Uh, you, you, you can place four building resources on this card when you play it, and you get four free plows. It's just amazing mm -hmm. uh, how, how many ways there is to plow there. Mm -hmm. So I agree with him. In G4, 5, 6, 7, I would, uh, Field Warden goes way down and Market Woman goes up. Yeah. So like the power, the power extension, I would recommend everyone use it for like your first 200 games or whatever, mm -hmm. your first mm -hmm. 100, 200 games. I think most of, the t most of the time, if you're not taking as a new player, if you're not taking the card with the highest power, you're making a mistake. I think yeah. that's true most of the time. 
but uh and that if you tend to take the highest power then you'll tend to put yourselves in good positions where you want yeah. to play cards with high powers but i think once you're looking for the edge beyond that like beyond the first 200 games then i think the power could be a distraction so yeah that is um, uh that's a good way to see it yeah it's a funny thing when you play on boito show if you play with a little bit of the worst players you you will get past educator around the table because educator is such a hard card to play so mm -hmm. new players stay stay away from it that also is a is a but that is when you play with beginning players mm -hmm. oh yeah i got educator fourth pick with one of my drafts the other day but you know what i only ended up scoring like 30 and came fourth because my game yeah. went awfully <laughs> yeah i saw you i saw one of your youtube videos uh, and you went into that boita show game and i and i thought okay so you don't always get high scores <laughs> sometimes you end up in the 30s so next time i, kn I know of a game uh, it's basically uh, I, I will write to you who we're gonna play we're probably gonna end up playing mantu at some point and I can write to you, and I can suggest uh, to the other players that that's in that game uh, the same time slot, and sure. I will give give you uh, the dates. Sounds good. And okay, uh, guys, if you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments. And thank you so much to Hiklj for your gifted sub, the X Men Nine, and Rilo Kren for your prime subs. Really appreciate that. And uh, thank you to Damba for the help. Yeah. And nice uh, language. We'll uh, we'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Bye.